This poem is called Dog. My folks kept the ashes of my dog around the house for some godforsaken reason. That first week home, she was stashed away below the basement sink in a sweets tin. They'd let me believe she'd be there. She was. My mother scattered the larger pieces of her in the wood a short distance from our door where I had walked her each night to watch blunt smoke wrap around my hands like an armored glove to see my ghost pull all that sadness out into the dark and my dog she'd shake her big dog head like a lighthouse or a dog and I would follow her leash home and I would wait for keys to fit themselves into impossible locks. She'd only bark when a car near tore my arms clear off or I was playing way too clumsy with serrated things. That week home, I heard her ghost rattle the tin whenever I reached for the sleeping pills full of whiskey. When I flipped dangerous men like cheap kitchen knives when I climbed our roof to consider its edge. I wish she had been there then, below the sink, in the basement, that first time I invited a boy in. When he took me down the stairs, when he wore me like a smoking jacket. When he left me a pile of ash, it would have been so easy for my mother not to tell a soul, to pour me in the barking tin, to scatter the rest of me like smoke in the wood.